Welcome to my unscripted, untested, except for the two earlier tests, Ridley tutorial. So let's show it off first. Let's work my way back to where I can show it off. So that spin break timing in the pause is all calculated. And I use screw attack to get in four charge shots per cycle. I missed one there. I wasn't paying attention to X-Factor particles. That was the 13 charge shots with one miss. And that's good enough to get him killed. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Uh, the opener that's pretty common to RBO fights is the, the X Factor in the middle here. And then uh, shoot a couple supers, second X Factor, and then transition to supers. Uh, so that part's pretty standard. The, uh, the screw attack manip is the part that I'm most interested in covering. Okay, so entering the room, uh, you don't want to run in. I'm going to cover the whole fight. So starting with uh, pre-prep. Uh, this is a world record loadout RBO. 10 health is pretty common. Like, just don't screw up your farm. Uh, but you do need a good farm to get that amount of health, and not too many missile drops. Like walk in, and you hold the charge as you enter. Turning around is bad. Uh, turning around slows down your charge time, and so you shoot a later X factor. So you don't turn around until after it goes out. Don't leave too early either. You want this third tile from the left. And move as soon as it passes through the second time. Uh, the timing on the next charge shot is... You shoot four supers and then start the charge immediately. Or alternatively, you can shoot uh, three supers and do a turnaround. But you you pace the supers a little slower. But anyway, I'll try which works for you. Uh, so you start the charge, the second X Factor charge, and you listen for the. The sound of Ridley hitting the wall. Uh, by staying on the ground and not jumping after him, he's always going to do a pogo. And so when he pogos, he'll hit the wall, and you, you want to jump right after you hear that. Not immediately when you hear it, but a little bit after. Um, and then just jump up. Uh, I try to use this tile here. Like right standing the way I was, you know, right here. Uh, being a little to the right is safer, um, because there's like one pattern where he, for, where he comes down far to the right, and uh, being a little left is a little too risky. So like, he hits the wall, and then it's random where he comes down. Uh, the worst pattern is far left. Um, most of them are around the middle. There's a couple far left, or a little bit left, and then there's one way over to the right. And if you jump early, then he'll he has 50% chance to do a swoop instead, or like a delayed grab. I don't think it's quite a swoop. So you want to stay on the ground until the pogo starts. So 
there's the four hits. Um, so the goal, uh, particularly with my strat, is to get all your supers in as fast as you can. But that's always the goal. And I do that to get him into this red phase, so that he's moving faster now. Okay, so we're over here. Um, that was a good start. And I'm going to shoot um, two supers up. And if there's time, like a third. A little important to get it to get a faster charge beam shot later. Um, while I'm here, I'll mention that uh, he can pogo, he can come down far to the right with that aggressive pattern. To, to fix that, you gotta jump into the wall. You, need, you don't have time to roll on the to jump at the wall and screw back. In. That's how you get past him. Um, so, as far as the Ridley AI goes, with regards to the Minute, uh, you want to jump as his tail is hitting the ground. And that puts him into a hover. And then once you're above a certain height, which is about where his claws are. About where his... Maybe a little higher than where his balls are right now, but around there. You want to jump to that height and then do a spin break with angle or up or shoot. I'll get him to turn around. And he'll just hover in place until you do the spin break. Uh, but if you jump early, then he might fly off or, or hover weird. So I find when his tail is touching the ground is the best time to try to do anything. Um, back hops, since he just did one. It's like a 1 in 48. Some low chance that he does a back hop. Or if you are too close to him, also do a back hop. Or grab you. Like, if you're close enough uh, to him, but not about to be grabbed, then go back up. And that's something to watch for when you're shooting out, so that you don't miss shots. Uh, so what you see most people do is you just do a shot at him, uh, but then you can follow him up and shoot upwards at him. And that's fast enough for getting all the supers in, but it's also slightly slower. But that's what happens if you jump too early after he hits the wall. Uh, so if you jump too early, he'll fall over here. Do a grab. So don't do that. Don't jump early. Don't jump early. Opening is the hardest part. And then you run over to the safe spot here. And start the minute. And Ridley didn't behave, but this lets me talk about the backup. Um, so if you notice, he hovered all the way to the right wall. Uh, so now I gotta fix that. Uh, he's going to like pogo back into the left while shooting fire. And so it's a little more risky than the full minute because you have to dodge the fire. And I'm gonna do this by running under him and then shooting up. And if a fire hits the platform, I gotta jump over it. And 
gitu. This time, I did not hit the button. You gotta be careful not to jump too high, or else um, he'll treat it as if you're trying to manipulate him again. So you gotta do low hops. So, okay, uh, so I have two pause timings. I call this one early shot. It's pretty tight on getting it off and him following the manipulation. Uh, but you shoot all the supers and then start holding a shot right away. And then leaving the pause, I wait for either the next bounce or the one after, depending on where he is in the pattern. Um, and get a shot up. And then as soon as you shoot, you have to jump. And it's a forward spin jump, so it's a bit risky. Uh, but the timing's really tight. Uh, but if you get good luck, good RNG, then they'll get an extra pogo and you're fine. But you don't need it. But it's tied back to how many supers you shot right after the second X Factor and on the walk over here. So let's see if I got it. So you can survive a fireball hit, or a quick dip in the acid. You're just not going to get Ridley drops if you do that. Because we're trying to end at 100 health when, when he dies. Uh, so you can take 70 damage or 60 damage. You just won't get drops. Uh, so yeah, there's two pause timings for my setup. This early shot here. Uh, I also want to do a moonwalk. Uh, so that I have room to do the forward jump. Because walking off is really bad. So I'm going to walk a little bit. Uh, the other timing is a little coordinated. You do the wall jump. Not the wall jump, the spin jump. Spin jump. Uh, you have to time this spin break when Ridley is like, passing the pillar here. And start charging the shot right away. Um, and this is common to all the uh, all the times that I'm gonna do this minip. Uh, time to break, start charging shot, just forward spin, another spin break, and then release the shot. That gets him to turn around and then turn back around and gets the shot in. So that's the that's the most technical part of the trick. Slow. Spin jump. Break spin, short shot, and pause at the same time. Going real slow. So coming out of this pause, during the fade in, you have to start a spin jump. Um, and that's because that's when his tail's gonna hit the ground. So during the fade in, do a spin jump, get to the right height, break spin, to turn back around. And then on the second pogo, release your next shot. I'm not 
back is to the slow down. It's pretty good. Two pogos. We shot. So about when his claw is passing that pillar is when you... That's when he did the spin break. The slowed down speed is really important. His grabby claws pass by the floor is when he's from break. And then turn him back around just when he gets to the right height and shoot right away. Two bounces, three really shot, start charging the next one. Two bounces. And it's as he's falling, you want to lose this shot. So it picks up the his tail. But I'll, I'm also really far back. You watch my feet. I'm right on the very edge. That's also so I don't hit his tail. Shots. That would be dead. I did miss a lot of shots. Timing for jumping into his claw is also when you kiss the ground. Here I got my shots in fast. Because he did the back hop, I got four shots in. I think. I got more shots than usual. So I can get this shot off. Shoot as he's falling. Always jump when his tail hits the ground. Um, I think 70 is a little low for drops, so I think I have to pause the beast list. I think you need like 76. But just showing off that you can. You can jump into his arms and pause. Yeah, I barely missed drops. Uh, that's the fight. I don't know if I missed anything. Uh, so buffer j spin jumps are, as you're turning around, you hold jump. And that just gives a much safer jump than a forward jump. Forward spin jump on this tiny platform. It's like a 12 frame window instead of 3 frames. Uh, and other odds and ends is that this shot. But after I land, after I do the thing, start charging shot, it has to be a forward spin jump. And that's so you can keep charging the shot. Because if you do a backward jump, then you're going to release it. So it has to be a forward jump. Uh, and otherwise, you just have to get some practice in on delaying your, your spin break potential. So there's, there's some practice to the movements. Like it can make the, the easier versions of the fight easy. I mean it can help with the easier versions of the fight. But it's not simple movements to do. That's why I, I die a lot. Like falling in the ass. Even now. Uh, but the the fight itself has no RNG after he lands. After the first pogo, there's no RNG. Um, like, how fast he bounces. RNG. That doesn't change the fight. And like, 
for the swoop fight, which is a lot more random. I can do a bit of a 25 super fight here. Something like ten. Okay, that was way overkill, but I missed the super. It's more common to do the, the 25 or 30 Super Ridley fight, so just showing that you can use it here. Uh, the normal manip, I guess, is to roll under and back and forth, uh, but jumping into the wall is probably a little safer. But just showing that my manip applies to that setup as well, even though I did it pretty sloppy. Tutorial here. See? 